So do you know what that was? This uh, this thing. No, I've wondered. And you say, bet. And yeah. then I say, cap. <laughs> All right, it's morning. It's a whole new week in the shop today. We got some cleaning up to do. As you can see, the shop's pretty clustered up right now. There's stuff everywhere. So we got us a new a TIG welder and a plasma cutter. And we are gonna take those and build a shelf over here, I'll show you. All right, so this table has useless space under here that we're gonna use. We're gonna take some angle iron, weld across here, put a shelf in here, put our plasma cutter and TIG welder in here. So that's the plan. What are you doing, cleaning out the bottom of there? I'm just cleaning up. So we're just gonna cut some angle iron. So we'll hurry and cut enough we can box this in and we'll just be 16 inches down from the top. So let's go find some angle iron. We're just gonna be cleaning all day, right? Everywhere we go is just a cluster. It's pretty bad, really. Hey, perfect. They're not the same, so I don't know who made the table. One's 43 and three quarters, one's 43. So we'll cut two, weld those in. Since everything's different, we'll just do one <laughs> step at a time. We'll just build a flat top and he's got some wire mesh to set on top. So it should be pretty easy. Little table. Stuff. You got stuff everywhere today. 16. Our instructions are as high as we can get it off the floor. Square. 40 and quarter. <laughs> no. <laughs> Everyone's been different. I'm sure they are. 100% <laughs> so, sure they're different. That's why we didn't cut four. So do you know what that was? What it used it? to be the awning on an old cat. Really? Yeah. It used to have a rounded top. I cut it off and put this on because nothing would. But yeah, that was the awning on a dozer. Okay. Off an old World War II dozer of some sort. Now it's a table. Table. So. It's heavy, super heavy. Repurposing stuff, always. Is that your last one? Last one. Let me get a hammer and a marker. Look level. I didn't level it, but that should fit. Not perfect. Who measured that one? We're gonna weld that one in. Let's get that one in on your side now. Good thing we got young blood in the shop. I can't see Ben or Paul crouching down. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, <laughs> I can crouch, just not the wrong area. <laughs> now for the hard one. Young yeah, blood. Ben appreciate that one. Cascade Design send us a whole bunch of uh, mats. Hunter already tested this one out, as you can see, he laid on it. <laughs> but we're gonna throw a few of these in the rollback. That'll save us from laying in the goat heads. Thank you. Pat, send us some zip ties, some good wrenches. Ooh, little bits, those are always good to have. Thank you, sir. We'll put these to use. Oh, ho, ho. Don sent us. He said he noticed we were using a manual rivet gun. He just sent us a pneumatic riveter. We're gonna get lazy if you guys keep sending all this cool stuff to us. Look at that. Clip it on and uh, run rivets in. Thank you. Bill, so he sent us some rub. We're gonna have to try brisket out or something and uh, see how this turns out. Thank you. Ben sends us this. So. Oh, he sent one of these to grind hard as well. Hopes that we'll do a crossover soon. I hope we will too. We need to build a go-kart or something. Something that we can hunt, hurt Hunter in. Something fast and I scary. Like that idea. So thank you for the screwdriver. All right, so we've got this. This is pretty cool. It's a tubing cutter for big stuff. So it'll cut exhaust tubing and different things like that. I don't have a name on it, but whoever sent this, you know who you are. Thank you very much. Got her all welded. What do you think, Hunter? Look good like enough? It. Now what it'll are you hold doing? what we're doing. One more piece for the middle. We'll put it underneath, turn it up, just for support, because it's gonna sag. Which side is your middle? This side. Okay. Close? Yeah. Do you wanna weld it or do you want yeah, me to? Yeah, I can weld it. I'll hold it up. 
Nice. I missed. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> no, I didn't, but it's not very good. There we go. Weldon and shorts. How's that feel? It was, it was good. Okay, she's ready for expanded metal. We'll have to cut it square, so it'll just set down in, but we'll have to round the legs. Probably just cut the corners off. 47, 44. Let's go figure this out real quick. 47. I'm not so sure I shouldn't have built this and you guys shouldn't be cleaning the <laughs> shop right now. I didn't realize I was a hoarder, but I think I might be. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff in that corner over there. It's terrible. Not just that corner. Hey, we're only tackling <laughs> this corner. That was really straight, actually. Like that? That's not bad. If you can stay, it's easy, but now I'll be off this way. Don't look at that one. Got, that a, little, little, got a little away from you, but not too bad. Close. Let's do a little more trimming. Coming at you. you gotta go that way, so I gotta trim that other side. Where's that hammer? About fit. Tight for sure. What do you think on those? Have to trim them? Not if you scoot it back. Scoot it back. Yeah. Good enough. You're an engineer over here. Look at that. Leon Brink says you'll pay for your education one way or another. <laughs> May as well <laughs> learn from screwing up. It's after lunch and we need to finish this table. With these plasma cutter cutting, we don't want it blowing down under here, getting on everything. So we're just gonna solid sheet metal this just to keep all the sparks and dust and dirt out. 21 inches by 45 and a half. You know where your sheet metal's at? Let's, let's go for a walk. Hi, Scouter. Found it. There we go. Remember your numbers? 21, 45, 19, 20, 43, 41. You're just helping. 17, 18. Tough. Really? 21. Nine. It's not going to be very straight. Probably. By. We're just going to go whole sheet. How straight is it? Not very. It's good till the bottom. Not too bad. Yeah. You'll never see it underneath. Though. So we probably should just cut that real quick. It's only what? Two inches long? Sweet. Good enough. You'll have to help me hold it. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do her. Welded. I got it. Oh, Ooh, that was hot. Oh, shorts are not new. <laughs> got this giant box the other day and Mike over at ITW Performance Polymers sent us some good stuff. Look at that. Right stuff, thread seal, anti-seize, thread sealer. Pretty much this is a whole bunch of open boxes that he couldn't sell anymore and he wondered if we could use them and we shall use them. I've been working all morning trying to clear off a shelf up there. Now I gotta put all this up there. So, here I go. Let's set this stuff up so we know what we have. Lock it out. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! That's a lot. Well, that's a lot. 
<clears throat> Just in case you were wondering. Half full water that's bottle. Not, I don't know Hunter. Who, that's not me. Hunter. Not me. That's fairly well organized now. We've got silicone, Loctite, and thread sealer for days. So, gotta figure out somewhere to put these safety glasses now. Cause that kind of took up my space, but I'll figure that out. That wraps up the shelf. Now are we going to connect them all up and <clears throat> see it in use? Probably. Yeah, we probably should. Are you going to read the instructions? No. We're just going to do it. Yeah. Okay. Can't be that hard. Alrighty. Let me fuel this up. We've got this thing pretty much dialed in. We're about to find out how dialed in it really is. I like it. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. That works good. I like it. I think she's in business. Sean got the shelf built. Got a protector in here so it doesn't get plasma dust in it. I think she's good to go. Now all we gotta do is come up with cool stuff to cut out. brakes in here is that me you just drove in i know i mean i haven't had the brakes on all day i've been going full tilt all day so the old girl needs some right some there work to it. brake pads oil change when i went to florida with my sister and nieces on our way there about halfway i was like what's that noise so i had to call ben because paul was getting a root canal at that point in time and he thought that it was the brakes so we're gonna fix those. Well, it is, we checked them. I mean, my The brakes you, are bad. Landon's been driving this a lot lately. So we'll blame Landon for the brake situation. And Oro, it needs an oil change. He's rotated the tires, it needs some stuff. So I guess since I'm down here, Paul says I have to do it with him. No, she has to do it. <laughs> I am gonna <laughs> sit right here. I'm gonna be like, do that, do this. You're doing a fine job. No, he's not. <laughs> What are we doing first? Getting it in the air. Gotta pop the hood. Go do that. <laughs> We're in bad trouble if you don't know how to pop the hood on a car. Right here. All right. I redeemed my faith. She's been checking the oil. Oh. Don't worry. I'm sure it's fine. I don't even know how to like. This is a telltale sign that maybe she hasn't checked the oil. You know what? What? That's why I have you. Yeah, I don't know. When was the last time that I've never checked the oil, okay? <laughs> Look, he's even struggle bussing. Yeah, that took you a minute. It's because my fingers are fat and I can't fit them in there. It looks fine. Yeah, I don't know why you couldn't just keep driving it for eternity on this oil. <laughs> the brakes don't sound fine, but it looks fine. The brakes are a little squeaky. I was check. telling Ben on the phone, I'm sure that mechanics get this all the time, but I said, it's only a quart low. Yeah. Anyways, I was trying to explain to Ben what the noise was. I let off the brakes, it goes And so I explained to him through noises what was going on and he told me it was the brake pads. I guess noises works for Ben because... He speaks noises. He speaks noises. It was fine. Yeah, you'll uh, gander at those tires. They're bald in the middle. No, that was not me. That was Landon. No, it wasn't. Oh, Looks like it needs an, an alignment too. It's wearing on the inside of that one and the inside of this one a little. We'll fix some stuff. All right, oil change first and then brakes. Okay. All right, Shell, grab the oil drain. All right. What bolt do you figure? That one. Oh yeah, that's the one. What, what size do you figure that is? 916. Negative. This is know. metric. I don't know. 
Let's go over to the toolbox and you can like compare. Like a three-fourths of an inch. That's a little smaller than I that. I know exactly what size that is. You just be quiet. We're going to go to the toolbox and she's going to investigate. All right. Figure out what size of wrench do you, you think might work for that. Maybe 16 millimeter. Oh, 15. Which way would, would that go to loosen that now? That way? No. Righty tighty. Lefty well, that's what we did me. last time, and you it wasn't right, though. Because a real woman would do it without gloves. Well, I'm definitely a real woman. Let's see it happen, then. But I do it with gloves. <laughs> I hate this. It's like Pop Goes the Weasel. Pop! I hate this so and much. This. If you twist it and hold it up tight while you're twisting it, then it won't I'm fall out. I'm trying to figure out, like, it looks like it's... it's oh, jeez! Here, hurry. Wait a second. I thought it. Oh, gosh. This is stupid. It's, good. it's just gonna go in your hand either way. Oh. Well, don't drip it all over. Don't drip it all over. <laughs> That's like a, three little drops. Here, just set that there. Wipe your hand off this. I just went for it. Thanks, oh, those Lance. will be big enough for you. All right, I'm gonna give you the number of this filter and you're gonna have to go over there and find the filter that matches this and bring it over to me. 84060. For Z, what is it? 84060. Okay, that's, that's not, it. not it. You can see it? Yes. Oh, good job, Land. I found it all by myself. Good job. Okay, get her out, put it on. Okay, you need to make sure that this that- This is what you do. You made that. Okay, you need to make sure you're not double gasketing it. See the rubber? Make sure that old one has a rubber on it. Looks like just one. You're gonna have to use the tool to get that tight. I'll tighten it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. There we go. Only she's a full turn. And... She's tight. Okay, oil is good. We'll let it down, fill it up just so we don't forget, and then we'll pull with all four tires off, roll them to where they go, and oh, then we're doing tires frames. now, too. We just have to rotate them. This one's going to the back, that one's going to the front. Sounds like you're, you guys are gonna do that. You're learning some stuff today. Well, that's good right there. For all of you at home, tell us what the difference between 30 and 20 is. Somebody. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're gonna get made fun of. Like... Why? What does that mean? No. It's the weight. Well, I have two quarts. So we can't do this. We're doing it. We gotta go. Can you mix 30 with 20? No. <laughs> okay, so it? it's just the viscosity of the oil, That's basically. The word. Yeah. And thin, thick, that kind of stuff. This motor's super tight inside and it needs a thinner oil. Which is O20 so oil. So thickness. Okay. All right, we got uh, this rigged up. Okay. So this is heavy, by the way. You could like. I bet this is a ten pounder. Fill that mm -hmm. ten pound oh. dumbbell, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm gonna add some more pounds to it. Okay. Hold on to it. Oh, you have to hold on. <laughs> It's off. There you go. Nope, nope, nope. There's only one. See the oh, difference? That's it? One on every wheel. Do you see the. Now that just fits that like so. So, to all of you guys out there that don't know anything about this, he just said, why do they do that? So, I someone doesn't steal, steal tire. your tires. Oh, so they make it complicated for the thieves. So, but, they got. But let me tell you what. I bought this off of eBay, <laughs> this key that's universal. It's a whole kit. So. They can steal them just the same. It's pointless, but carry on. Dude, I could be in that. <laughs> Do you ever hit any like curbs or anything? Holy. She, she curbed the Jeez. Ring. Let's see how fast should I can. Should we time you? Yes, time me. Ready? Are you ready? Set, go. Oh, that Great. started off really slow. This that doesn't was... count. We're going to time myself on time. 
Any guesses? How fast do you think you did? 45 seconds. You saw it in the thing. No, did I really get that? <laughs> Five? <laughs> no, I really didn't wow. see that. I was just guesstimating how slow that was. 45.7. We're gonna make a better time on this next tire. So Sean and I are gonna just start changing brakes. We'll make you change one. Oh, you're not even gonna show me how to do it? No, I'm gonna. But well, we're just gonna get going on this right now. Are you ready? You say go. Go. Woo! 25. 16. Oh, even better. That was a pretty that good. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good. I think I probably could beat you, Hunter. <laughs> Okay, so we only had two liters of the right oil for this. So Landon to the rescue, went and got us some more oil. They're actually quarts. Quarts. Liters, quarts. I'll let it down. I here. actually do know the difference between those. How things. many liters are in a quart? Four. Three, right? No, four, six. Three, three quarts six. are in one. No, two. Only hey, Hunter, two. why don't you get your knife out and open this? Out of all that. Here, Hunter, I'll just do it with my pocket knife. There you go. <laughs> there you go. We thought he was a man, but he's really not. Okay, so we've got two in it. I poured two in it. So we'll put these in it, and then oh, we'll check it. These are really not wanting you to get into them. Thanks. What are your thoughts, guys? I'm going to give You're you swim and none. You missed. That did not go in. It did too. It did not. The cap fell the over. The cap that. fell off, but it went in. That's cap. That's capping. Is that the words you no, kids it's use cap, now? Not capping. What, what is does it, it mean? Hunter? It's like uh, you know what bet means. Yeah. Not really, like, but I mean bet well, means. Cap means like you're you're lying. Like cap. Oh. I don't believe you. See. Like when you say I can jump something, and your friend's like cap. And then you're like, bet. Like, <laughs> bet is like. What's wrong with just English? Why can't we just bet. say. Two. Was that <laughs> on? I just got two in a row. Hold on. I don't know how many this takes. I when did we quit speaking lot. English and start with all of that <laughs> plunder? Cap and bet has always been in the English. Okay, next time I throw that thing in the garbage, we're going to talk like the young kids. Bet. The young kids. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> is that, did I use it in context? Yeah, now like, <laughs> if Michelle is to make it, no, you're like, you I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna race. make this. <laughs> oh, oh, here. And then you say, bet. And yeah. then I say, cap. <laughs> you got the riz. Is that? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I can make this in the trash. <sighs> bet. Cap. And then she says, oh, bet. Oh, I have to say, <laughs> cap. Bet. <laughs> Oh, three in a row. All right, I think your oil. We're good. It's changed. Let's finish the brake job. How do you start the brake job? Oh, we've already started. We took the tires oh, off. Oh, you've already brought it. It's already been brought. So you need a wrench that will take this bolt and this bolt out, and then we'll pull the caliper. All right. Good job. I'm breaking them loose because they're tight. Take those out. Say, so take these bolts out, please. Take these bolts out, please. Thank you. Bet. <laughs> Cap. <laughs> you guys are like, is when someone tells you know. to do something, you're like, bet. <laughs> Being a disgrace to your generation right now. <laughs> like, We're gonna pry that up like so. Good job. And it's gonna come down like that. So you're not me... supposed to let it hang on that brake line like that, but I do it. Well, let's not then. See that little thing right there? That's the squealer, it's been touching, It's broke off and gone. See that? That is what was making your noise. Now when you push on the pedal, you're gonna understand what's happening. Some of these are not like the others. Can you tell the difference? Well, there's pads here and there's not pads here. That is right. So did these used to look like this? Yes, they did. Wow. You've got all the break out of them. You wanna see something? Watch this. Oh, you made one of them. Got one. Tell me that wasn't cool. That was, that was capping. Give me five. Yes. I haven't heard that We've one. got this sweet stuff that we've got today. It's called brake lubricant. We're gonna go ahead and... It's pretty. 
Put that in there. That looks pretty good. Grab the caliper. It's hooked to the hose. It can't go too far with it. You keep holding and I'll twist. You're running it. One? That one. Twist it in. Okay. Put these bolts back in. I'll take that tool from you. You have just almost completed your first brake job. This is like ghost when we're, we're making pottery, except we're doing brakes. I'll get it started. We need that music. music so romantic that. right there. And boom, that's how Landon was born. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> here's the wrench, tighten them. Like the river flows to the sea, oh my love. They're tight. Okay. Sean did the rest of them while we're on. <laughs> <laughs> Good Just job, Sean. Oh. Do you mean to help you? <laughs> Holy crap. I thought the tire was going to... It's probably best if you start at the top, right? No. Do it in this. Yeah. I just, this is the last tire that I've done. I think we're good now. That was pretty I nice. did all of them, right? Good job. Yep, you're, uh, they're good to go. Brakes are fixed, we'll let it down, pump them a little bit. That ain't going nowhere. Do you do that on tires too? Uh, you can. Okay. So we just changed the oil, we just changed the brakes, and we tire rotated. So now you're good for another how many miles? 365. No, like 7,000 is what the car goes using oh, on oil. So That's way better. Like I was, th I thought you were talking about days. No. How many days can no, you go? No, it'll be less than that. 365. It'll be less than that. So and when my your brakes, hands are dirty. When your brakes start squeaking again, we'll change them. So We're done. We're done. Thanks think, for coming to the brake swap. And I think she'll got this here oil change done. She's out of here. Mowdy. She made her. Job well done. All right, so we got the shelf done today. Plasma table's all set up and ready to go. We got Michelle's car fixed. She even did her own brakes. So I think we got a pretty good day in, so thanks for watching. <laughs>